it is Mike Renoir, Northwest Fight Scene, NDBFightScene.com. Here with Shoney Carter, main event winner, uh, unanimous decision over landing the show, Showalter. Now, Shoney, talk about the fight. Well, the first fight, I mean the first round, it was a, it was a little bit difficult to keep up with him because he's so long. And I know he was working well against the southpaw lead by moving away from a power. Uh, I, I knew I had to do, do something to change the pace of the fight. And both uh, Ivan Salaberry and Maurice Smith they were in my corner. And Mo was telling me I have to impose my will. And they were right. I had to, I had to up the pace. And I was thinking, Fundamentals, fundamentals, fundamentals. By moving away from his power as well, being a southpaw versus the orthodox fighter. Second round, you know, I uh, I felt it. You know, I hurt him a little bit. He threw a couple hard kicks, kicked me in the hand, kicked me in the ribs. I think. Yeah, and do some hard, solid elbows and. It, it was really ineffective. I mean, the first round I ended up on my back trying to do a yoke with Tony and Ivy. The, um, the, the, the somersault kick flip. I was going to try. I was going to see if I could flip it, but it happened. Second round, I ended up with the takedown. You know, pretty much controlling him the from the Yoko Shioka time. Side control. I'm Japanese Jiu-Jitsu. Please forgive me. I don't know it. Um, third round, I knew I hurt him really bad with a straight. No, it wasn't a straight left. It was a, a left hook from South Paul Lee, and he was a fish. He was a fish. Actually, he was out, as I was told by the ref post fight. But I chose to take him down and try to recover. Okay, I knew I hurt him, but guess what? I didn't want to take a chance on a home run shot. You know, a hail mary. So I figured if I can control him on the ground after stunning him, it's best to play safe at that point. I mean, I'm at that tender age of near AARP, uh, Geritol, <laughs> Pfizer, you know, eligibility for it towards MMA. You know, what else they get? Depends. We were talking about that earlier. I'm going after the sponsorships that no young fighter will dare wear. I will wear Pfizer on my Speedo, on my trunks, and be glad, and will fully endorse them, and condom deeper. But, uh, <laughs> It was a nice, solid fight. I mean, he's a, a veteran of now 30 fights, and he ended his career on the loss, but it was a unanimous decision. It wasn't like he was, you know, outclassed. I just, I had control of the fight. And he's not hurt too bad, I'm not hurt too bad, barring the negative adrenaline spike that'll probably occur within the next three and a half, four minutes. I'll tell you, my intercostal is sore, and, my uh, left instep, my ankle, my metatarsal around the ankle is sore, but whatever. I'll still go put on a Coco Brown and go to the after party and make people from Washington State buy me a keychain that says Washington State alcohol. <laughs> and I'll prepare for Kandahar, Afghanistan. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, you did retire, you came out of retirement yeah. now, and uh, what's next for you down the line? Well, I'm trying to do a, a photo, I'm, I've been asked to do a photo shoot for a women's magazine. <laughs> so I gotta get my teeth whitened, then I gotta do some facial peels, um, flatten my abs more, puffy my chest, widen my back, you know, get them pretty muscles, like them, you know, that Abercrombie and Fitch look. And, um, then I'll go, to, like I said, I'll go do the thing for the troops. And if they decide to have me jump out of a C-130 or, you know, a fighter Marine who's over there who wants to have another fight, I'll be like an American insurgent. Because I'll be the dude that's like, the dude that was a Marine, but was a UFC fighter. So I'm a former UFC fighter, former Marine, but currently crazy. <laughs> and then, barring any injuries after that, after my excursion for dealing with the troops. Tentatively, I will be in Tampa Bay, Florida, potentially fighting one young Ryan Thomas, who seemed so necessary to call me out. What's the Neville? After Tampa Bay, I will then be in some part of Wyoming, doing something strange for a piece of change. 
and then oh, then Sofia Bulgaria in February. Okay. If the good Lord lets me, you know, I'll, I'll bring a knife and slice a piece of turkey in Turkey. All right, well, hey, Shoni, appreciate your time. Well, where can uh, people find you online right you now? You can find me on Facebook. You can find me, uh, oh, I'm the dude with, the, okay, not the fake one. Look for the dude with 5,000 friends, send me a message first. Okay, I got some rules. Fellas, bros, bro hams, jabronis, swing dicks, whatever you want to call yourselves nowadays. If you are glistening, if you got your chest glistening and your shirt off with the cap, cell phone holding the picture, with the real tight jeans, with the button undone, don't even bother sending me a message or a friend request. I'm not accepting it. Ladies, if you get the real barely there bikini spaghetti top, and they tend to sit a bit bodacious, and and, and, and you won't be proposing to do indecent things to me, you know, and you tell the boyfriend and or the husband or the girlfriend that to leave me alone, I'm only borrowing, I'll accept your friendship on my earliest convenience. Uh, yeah, I love everybody in their own special way. I'm silly as hell. I know. This is why people wonder if I'm really full of shit or if I'm really serious. Well, I'm seriously full of shit. <laughs> well, you heard it here. Shoney Carter, Northwest Fight Scene and Every Fight Scene.com. Thank you so much. Thank you.